I'll be showing you the five basic household differences that I noticed as soon as I moved to Europe. Number one, uh, you can look at the ceiling. Okay, you do not find any fans. Yes, there are no fans, ceiling fans here. So even in the month of summer, when it is too hot, we only use table fans. Even at offices, there are no ACs or no fans. So during hot summers, we use table fans as we don't have ceiling fans here. And maybe you would think Switzerland is a cold country and it doesn't need fans. But the case is not like that. Even in Switzerland, the temperature goes as high as 36 degrees to 38 degrees in summers where we cannot survive without a single fan. The second difference. So it is a switch and the plug points. The switch is like this. It is just like a button. Press in, it is switched off. Press out, it is switched on. And the plug points. The plug points are very different that anything we bring from India needs an adapter to it. Not only things from India, but also when we purchase something from the near countries like Germany, it doesn't set in as such. We need adapters to it. So for example, we have an iron box. I will show how it works. Iron box is from Germany. It doesn't go. So it definitely needs an adapter. So we have to take an we have to have an adapter, plug into it, and then plug into this, and then only it turns on and functions. So there's a difference of the plug points and the adapters here. Another difference is, in India, when we plug in a device, we have to turn on the switch and turn off the switch when we remove it. But here, you can directly plug in the device and the supply immediately starts and it gets turned on. So we need not turn on the switch and turn off the switch. It is, the, the supply is always there. And then when you want to remove it, just take it out. It gets cut off. So these are the extension cables we get here and they have a hexagon pattern. I was wondering why it was designed this way. Then after coming here, I realized that the iPhone chargers can easily get into the, uh, into the extension cables. So then I thought that Switzerland extension cables were also considered before designing the charger for iPhones so that it would go universally in all the uh, extension cables. Now the third difference. So it is on how the windows open. Uh, I like the window concept here because for opening it is just the normal. You just push it this side and it gets open. And there's another one where you can slide the windows. So for this the, ha the handle has to be turned upwards and now you can slide it and the cool breeze enters your home. So this is what I, I like more on the windows here. And when you, when you want to make normal, you can just put the handle down and it is locked. The fourth difference is placement of washing machine. The household in Switzerland doesn't have a provision to have the washing machine inside their houses. And so the washing machine and the dryer are placed in the basement of every apartment and used commonly. Number five, it's the radio fee. Though you use it or don't use it, though you hear it or don't hear it, it's a mandate for every Swiss resident to pay a radio fee of 365 francs per year. I hope this video would be useful for anyone who is traveling to Switzerland for the first time to get mentally prepared. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Also, please don't forget to subscribe.